Hey, one thing I failed to mention um, at the beginning of this video, so basically I'm tacking this clip onto the beginning, is the process I'm going to go over about reinstalling Windows will erase everything. So you must back up all of your data uh, or you will lose it uh, following the method that I have here. And this is the best way to reload Windows. Start over fresh with a clean slate. Don't try to like, you know, reload Windows over the top of Windows or anything like that. We want to start over clean and fresh. Um, again, make sure you back up all your data. Programs will need to be reinstalled. Um, but anyway, I just want to put that at the beginning of this video to make sure I got that out before anybody erased all their data. All right, so let's say you need to reinstall Windows 10 and, and holding down the shift key and, and doing a reset just isn't working for whatever reason. Let's say maybe even your computer won't boot. So what you may need to do is reinstall Windows uh, from installation media. Now you may have gotten a disk with your computer. You may have a Windows disk. But I strongly recommend not using that because it's going to be way out of date. In fact, we stopped providing the disk because Microsoft provides you with a really nice tool to download the very latest build of Windows. And by downloading the very latest build of Windows, you can avoid a bazillion updates that would ultimately have to be installed. All the various spring and fall creator updates and all that, I mean, it'd be hours of just installing Windows updates. So by downloading the very latest build, then it is a whole lot quicker to get Windows installed and you don't have all that, all those patches and all that on your computer. So what you do is um, you go and download the Windows 10, sorry for the unprofessionalism here, the Windows 10 media creation tool. So I'm just going to open up Internet Explorer here, which has never been opened before. And I'm going to go to Google because Bing sucks. And I'm going to Google Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. It should be the first result, but pay attention. Make sure you're actually going to Microsoft when you do this. And um, right here you'll see um, we can update now, which we don't want to do because we want to we want to download the tool. So you click on download tool now. And what it will do is it will download a, a little program to your uh, downloads folder. And you can do this, not, you don't have to do this on the machine you want to reload Windows on. In fact, if that machine won't boot, you may need to go and do this on uh, a machine that is working. And so you run the media creation tool and what you want to do is you want to create installation media for another PC. So it runs for, I don't know, a minute or so. I'm going to try not to break here. I think it'll just be a second. And what you need is an 8 gigabyte or larger flash drive. And keep in mind, you're going to lose everything on this flash drive. So do not have your wedding on it or whatever. You need to have a flash drive you don't mind losing all the data on. And all I did was accept the license agreement there, or the EULA, end user license agreement. Um, so again, this flash drive, you're going to lose everything on it. So be sure you don't care that you are going to lose everything. And also, unplug all other uh, removable media like external hard drives and, and you know flash cards and things like that. I'm going to pick Create Installation Media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO. I recommend the, you know, the USB flash drive. You just verify everything is right here, that it's English, that it's Windows 10, 64-bit, and um, you know, that's what I have. Um, it's possible, you know, if you're doing this on a 32-bit machine, you may have to change it to 64-bit. What you want to do is download what came on your computer. So this is all right. I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to pick USB flash drive and hit Next. And it says there's not a USB flash drive, even though there's one plugged in. So it's possible I've grabbed the defective flash drive. So I'm going to grab a different one. And let's hit refresh the drive list. There we go. 
And so you just need to make sure that you pick the correct drive here. You don't want to pick um, you know, your wedding photos or some external hard drive that's hooked up. And I don't want to erase this drive, so I'm not going to hit next and erase it. But the next step should be to create the media. It'll take, you know, it's got to download a pretty good amount of information from Microsoft. So depending on your internet speed, it may take, you know, half an hour to download it. And then it'll create the flash drive. And, um, and then you simply uh, eject that properly. And then you can take it over to the computer that needs to have Windows reloaded. And uh, that will be the next step that we'll do. Okay, so we're ready to install Windows on our messed up computer or messed up Windows installation. And so um, what you want to do is you want to plug in the flash drive we just created that has uh, Windows 10 on it and into one of the USB ports. And then we need to boot to that flash drive. And so what you need to do is know what the boot menu hotkey is. So I'm going to tell you what those are. Um, for the most part, we've only used Gigabyte and MSI motherboards recently. And so you can just take a peek inside your case and see what brand of motherboard it is by just looking at the motherboard. Um, or uh, possibly you'll be able to tell, you know, when the menu comes up or whatever. But if it's a gigabyte board, F12 is the key that you press. And if it's an MSI board, it's F11. If it's an ASRock board, it's also F11. Um, so uh, an ASUS is F8. But anyway, most of ours are going to be gigabyte or MSI. And so again, MSI is F11, gigabyte is F12. So what you do is you power on the computer, which I'm going to do now, and then start tapping that hotkey once per second, which is what I'm doing now. I'm just tapping it one time per second, and you can see, boom, there's our boot menu. See, we have a gigabyte board, so I was hitting the F12 key to get the boot menu to come up. You'll see a number of things come up. What, I, what you want to look for, what you want to boot to, is the flash drive you created. And in this case, sometimes you have to look at the brand of the um, flash drive. I have a SanDisk uh, flash drive here. And so um, if you look here, you'll see SanDisk, and then you see SanDisk again. And what you'll see is you'll see a UEFI, and then you'll see one without UEFI. And we want the UEFI. I'm not going to go into what that means right now, but the bottom line is look for the letters UEFI and then also look for sort of the name of your flash drive. Um, in, so, the, you know, you see here this SSD 970 EVO. That's the SSD inside the computer, so we don't want to boot to that. So I'm going to choose the UEFI SanDisk um, external... Uh, it's actually an SSD, but it's sort of like a flash drive. And I'm going to boot to that. So again, I'm booting to the flash drive I created earlier. And this is USB 3 flash drive, so it's pretty fast. Alright, so you just hit next here. Hit install now. Now on the next screen it's going to ask for your key. Your key is, should be located on the back of the computer, but you don't really have to type this key in if you don't want to. As long as you choose on the next screen, or the screen coming up soon, the correct version of Windows, you don't have to type the key in because Microsoft has your computer on file in their data center. And it'll go, oh, that's Bob's computer, and it'll activate Windows. But you do have to pick the correct edition of Windows. And if you're not sure, then you might need to type your key in here just to be sure. So if you don't want to do that, if you're confident you know you have Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, uh, you know which one, then just click on I don't have a product key. And then either pick, the only thing we've ever installed here is Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. So it's going to be one or the other, and just pick the correct one and hit next. And again, it'll figure it out, um, because you're on record with Microsoft. I'll accept the license agreement, 
and we want a custom install of Windows. Now the next screen, I do need to mention, you want to make sure that you don't have any external hard drives hooked up other than the one you're installing Windows from because you don't want to mistakenly delete all the partitions on your um, you know, camera's flash card or your external three terabyte hard drive or any of that. So, and I, and I do not have anything like that hooked up. So drive zero is typically the one you want to install Windows on. And you notice it's got four partitions on it. So we want to just delete all these partitions until all we have left is unallocated space. And I do need to remind you at this point that you should have backed everything up. I should have mentioned that earlier, but you must back everything up um, because you're going to lose everything. So do make sure you've got all your data backed up before you uh, go through this process because this is a clean slate. We're starting over fresh. Um, and then, so once we have drive zero and all we have left is unallocated space, we just hit next and Windows starts installing and um, at this point it's going to reboot several times. It'll eventually come up and ask you a bunch of questions like who you are and do you want to use location services and Cortana and all that junk. And you just answer those questions however you want to answer them. Um, it's possible you'd have to go download your network or Wi-Fi drivers uh, if they're not recognized by Windows. Um, you'll also probably want to go download video drivers from NVIDIA if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. But for the most part, Windows will find your drivers, especially with this, if you're going and grabbing the latest build of Windows when you do this. So uh, hopefully that helps if you are uh, struggling with Windows and need to do a fresh, clean install.